Good afternoon, class. Today we are going to work on uh, refining the basic block in for the color uh, study. Uh, we are almost finished with the painting. We have two more stages, so I think this is the fourth or the fifth stage. You can see that our initial stage, um, the colors are a little bit darker. They're also um, a little bit um, more crude, so we're going to refine a little bit. Um, last class we took the face up a little bit further than uh, the other copy, but that's okay. Um, and we're also going to work on the background, and I think the background is where I'm going to start, um, just to kind of make sure that the, the silhouette of the figure uh, lines up and make any kind of subtle changes. Um, I will also go ahead and block in the shadow pattern. So I'm going to do two things, the shadow pattern and the uh, background. That will be my initial stage. All my brushes have paint on them. Um, I've oiled out my painting as well. You can see it's kind of glossy, especially compared to the other one. Um, and I'm going to just go ahead and refine um, what was here before and make sure that the drawing is good. I can see a few issues here and there. Um, the ears a little bit big and so on and so forth. Remember that this, whatever we see now is the truth. So even though last session we did some adjustments, um, think of it as the model's coming back, she's setting up, and this is, we got her as close as possible to the other uh, uh, pose, but it's never going to be identical. One, two, we, uh, need to put behind us what we thought was the truth and just see what is in front of us now. And this helps move the painting forward. So don't stay attached to anything that you did in the past, I guess would be the rule. shadow pattern everywhere, everywhere that I see it. So even though I did do some probably more detailed um, in the last session, I want to build up the shadow pattern and I want to build it up flat. You can see that it's getting quite rich as well and we want that. Next stage we will start blending a bit more and normally I would transition um, through some of the stages um, into the final even in this session here. I've broken it up um, and separated them for teaching purposes but if this was my painting I might develop an area um, in this session here and complete it. So I've got my base coat down. I'm going to work now on the um, background. So I'm going to put down my other brush. Again, it's about getting the second layer on and not so much about getting the most accurate of color. We want the value, so we want the light against the dark. And then the next layer will get, will mix in the specific color. Now 
Now here, I put in dark, pushed it out, and then took the light and pushed it back in. And that way I didn't have a hard edge really. So I'm gonna do the same. Also notice that I'm working in many different areas so I'm just kind of going up up and down and then I'll go back and refine all right so I put in the base coat now I'm gonna start blending I'm pushing the value in and out. Now I'm going to push it back in. And then at a certain point, I will create, you know, it looks like there's a little bit of an edge. Why I'm doing this is that I don't want to make this area really that important to the painting. It's a support, but it's not a primary character. So if I have hard edges, if I have a lot of contrast, then the viewer is going to end up focusing more and more on that area. And I don't want that. All right, so now I'm just going to put my background brush to the side for now and I'm going to put more paint on my brushes before I start okay, that one I haven't used okay so we're going to start always building into the lights and again this stage still pretty crude I'm going to try to keep it at the stage that is in the sample so even though I did um, bring it up a little bit more last class now, more than likely what I did here is I just dragged some of the shadow color. And that gave me a little bit darker value. And I'm going back with that initial value that I had. I am softening up just a little. Peach. So I'm going to mix that into my pile. So I'm using two brushes now. So I'm using a slightly darker one and then a slightly lighter one, but it's muted. So I'm putting in this base and then I got to clean it up. Always looking for shapes. Looks like I get a little lighter in here. Not that light, so I'm going to go with a slightly darker brush and go over that section. Very good. So now we're at the the important part. So let's put our base 
And again, the base looks like it's a little bit more red. So I have my initial pile. So I'm just adding a little red to that. So you can see I'm starting to get into some more specific color ranges. I'm going to put in the base coat and I'm going right over. So and the reason for that is I don't necessarily want to lose the idea that there's a rib underneath there. I just don't want it to be so harsh. So each time I go over it, it starts becoming a different value. So by going over it a few times, I'm creating another. And because the paint is wet, it allows me to start reducing the contrast. If this shadow was dry, it would be hard for me to blend. So even though I'm not really blending so much, but I am blending in the sense that because I'm putting a lighter value over a slightly darker base, it is blending because they're both wet. And blending in the sense that I'm creating a, um, a different value. Now what I don't want to do is go from one and then blend it all the way over. I'm starting inside and I'm going right to the edge. So I am creating a different value. If I was to blend through that edge, then I would lose the to go ahead and put in the high key. Okay, so we're gonna work on the face now. So I've got my detail brushes um, in order to be able to refine the information. So I may use some of my other brushes as well, but by and large, I think I'm gonna use the detail. Okay, so I'm gonna switch back into the larger brushes. So really, I only wanna use the thin brushes for the fine detail, but it, by and large, it does slow me down. So I don't necessarily wanna stay with those brushes. times I go over it, the easier it is to actually create these middle ranges or these in-between values, I should say. Just going to clean up this arm. I 
could probably key this up a little bit more. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this round. So for classwork, your goal is to bring it up to this level 